Namowsk, notoriously the most brutal map in DayZ. In this adventure, we hit a highly populated hardcore server as a solo. To survive here, it was going to take everything we got and ultimately push me to my limits. First objective, to find a suitable base location and taking control of the high ground. Objective number two, gaining all available intel. And then, it was time to go to work. We had broken into the biggest loot stash on this server, but would we make it out alive? If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Ah yes, North Central. I know where we are. Heat pack, gloves made, face wrap. Time to move out. Let's go. Okay, so this is going to be difficult. We're on a hardcore, highly populated, vanilla Namowsk server. Last time I was here, there were groups and bases all over the show. So not only have we got to deal with the usual brutal Namowsk conditions, but we're solo, which means we're going to be highly outnumbered in every aspect. And then we've got to find the place to base up in and try and keep this safe. So we've got some work to do. But first, we've got a bit of a Zed problem. We need to gain some supplies. And it sounds like an electrical storm is about to hit. So we're just north of Vortuka. So let's get looting. First things first, we're going to need some sticks. And then we're going to need some bark. At least now we can make a fire. And with that, we headed straight for the capital of Namowsk, the city of Vorkuta, where we hope to find some early supplies. Well, we've made it to the city, and as you can hear, that electrical storm is getting closer and closer. Oh, that shovel looks a little bit better condition than the one I've got. Ah, oh, nice. And we got a gas stove. And a saucepan. Okay. That fits nicely. We are cooking. Is that a knife? Yo, we're there. At least we can do some bits now. Right, this storm's coming in. Got a sledgy. Let's prepare a fire for when this does hit. We'll probably go down before that happens. But, uh... I don't think... No, it's not going to let us cook it in here either. Here it comes. Going to get knocked out. Oh, crap we got. Yeah, there you go. Come on, get back up. Okay. Now, this normally wouldn't let us light this fire due to the ground. Yeah, we're gonna have to go outside. Come on, flare. Ignite. We are about to have fire. Right, let's hide the flare inside the fireplace. Therefore, we're not giving off loads and loads of signals that we're actually here. And we stayed here until the heat buff hit us. And now, we can get back on looting. And things started to pick up. Fireman's outfit, we'll take that. Full suit, that'll keep us warm for a bit. Got a couple of heat packs. Nothing much else here. Let's move on. We were now needing food and water supplies. And so, we headed over towards the market. And luckily for us, we found a number of food items, which was going to come in handy. Not only that, but also some building supplies. Now these were about to play a huge part in what was about to unfold. Let's fill ourselves up at the well. And as we were ready to leave town, it was inevitable. We were about to get set upon by a group of angry infected.
How many bloody more of them are there? There's at least another two here. Anyway, we get cut. And more show up. Everywhere we went now, we were starting to pick up signs of obvious player activity. It would only be a matter of time. So, we're on the outskirts of Vorkuta, in a very small town, hoping to scavenge a little bit more food before we move down south. And it's here we find another clear indication that someone has just passed through. This P1 has just been placed on the fireplace. So we've taken the ammo, found a bit more food, and continue to just upgrade our gear. We now have a shotty, one shot capability, and a load of frozen food. We've moved slightly out of the town into the nearby forest in order to heat this food up a little. Far safer out here than it would be in any town right now. We use this time to make better use of our infantry and also warm ourselves up a little bit. We've got quite a few bits and pieces now. At least we can defend ourselves. And now, with all the food heated, it's time to switch the stove off before heading south. Next stop, the refugee camp. There are shots nearby, and our attempt to sneak in this place hasn't quite worked out for us. Come on boy, get down quick. And you. Okay, that's them done. Gun out. Let's be a little assertive here. Okay, none of these appear to be aggroed right at this moment. But clearly someone's been here. So battery, take that. Okay, let's uh, check the lay of the land here. I think we go straight down the middle. Take this nearest Z out. Hopefully, we're not going to uh, annoy the rest of them just yet. How the hell did he slap me from there? Backward slaps, man. Jesus. Oh, there we go. PSO scope. I have that. I thought I heard someone there. Right, we've got some boots. We're getting there. Slowly getting there. We'll take the Baraka sights. What we got then? You're next. I'll loot it. Another slap. Okay, well at least we've got a ski mask now that uh, kind of fits our, well, attire. We need to change up here though, but uh, we're good at the moment. Oh, these are better. Assault boots. Bit of extra infantry. Oh, gun cleaning kit. Okay, okay. We're getting there. Yeah, this may not have been hit for a little while. It does appear to be quite a little bit of loot here. Nevertheless, let's not be silly about it. Okay, we've been there. There's another two Zeds over this way. Get down. The other one's coming. SK. Beautiful. In fact, two are coming. Right, in and out. Take this one. Take that one. Grab the SK. We've got ammo for this. So we should be good. 76254. You never know, that may come in handy. Right, drop the shotty. Let's fill up the SK. Condition's good. It's warm. Now we're in business. Okay, let's move. From here, we headed south through the Sebgen Marsh. So this passage is normally fraught with danger. If not by loads of Zeds congregating altogether, but also by players. 
we will no doubt be sniping from the hilltops. But it's always worth looking up here. You never know what we're going to find. I'm hoping we get a little bit of decent gear. Shit, M79. Taking that. It's not bad. Not bad. Don't need those. Okay. Gilly hood. So we've got a couple of little bits. Now, we've not been shot at, which is optimal. But these Zeds are going to be probably right up our backsides here. Yeah? There we go. Straight away. Alright, sit down. There's another one. There you go. Go take a nap. Right, I'm thinking we go back. Right, the storm's incoming, and we've got a load of Zeds on us. Uh, this isn't good. There is a car tent there. I doubt if there's anything inside it. Come on, come on. Oh, well, we've got nowhere else to go here. We're going to take these Zeds out, and we're going to have to try and lie down here. Yeah, nothing there, look. Nothing there. Making sure we're not being followed. A bit of sheet metal. Here we go then. This is going to be uh, dangerous. We are going to get hurt here. Just don't hit red. Please don't hit red. Alright, let's see the damage. We're red. <laughs> We're red elf. Excellent. Oh. No buildings nearby. Right, let's try and recover. Having logged out for the night, we're back in the next morning, over at the Sebjan Dam, where we're still in very poor condition. Okay, so we're in. Let's see, where the hell did he come from? Oh my god. We're straight into an aggro zombie, and you know what that means. Someone has been about... Great, we're now sick as well. Oh, not only are we red health and one arrow down, we've now also sick. But if we can make it over this pass here, the hospital is right at the top there on the corner, as you can see in the distance. But this is dangerous. There are a load of Zeds here, we're going to try and sneak past. Our stamina's affected. We have gone back up to yellow health for the time being, but. If we take a couple more slaps, we are in deep, deep trouble. Nothing on him. Right, come on. Try and sneak past this one. So he's done. Now as we were moving down, there was a load of shots coming from just over the hill here. So we have got to be so careful. Well, we've made it to the outskirts of the hospital. This isn't looking good either. There are no Zeds here. This is normally packed with Zeds. Just feel like there's uh, a trap waiting for us. Probably being camped somewhere. Hold on. Tetracyline. That'll do. We get these in our systems early now. We can have a chance here of uh, surviving this disease. But we're probably going to need a whole pack full. And we're probably going to need some uh, iodine as well. Maybe even a couple of salines. That do. Let's quickly make a full IV star kit. Okay, that's that done. Might be nice to us. Bandages are always helpful. Alright, got in there. Oh, is that a little blood test kit? Okay. Might as well take a bit of morphine. Why not? Why not? Now the noise we're making... Oh, there's a, a vehicle. There's a Sarka. Just needs a battery. Okay. We may come back for that. Finally got the iodine. 
this is a full bottle. I bet we're going to need all of this just to fix ourselves. So we're running with every bit of medication right now. <laughs> Alright, we've done all we can there. Let's move out. With the medication kicking in, we decided to head to Tara Hill, which would prove to be a pivotal location for the remainder of our adventure. Oh shit, there's a base here. Well, it looks like it's been hit, but has it been fully hit? Or have they just not finished building? Load of Zeds around there. Let's uh, head over to the right hand side. So the frame's good there. The lower frame's decent there as well. How about this. Oh, this has been hit. Okay. Someone's tried to get in there. Now the chances are this has been already raided. Oh, there you go. Look. Front gate is open. There's a lot of crates here. Well, I doubt there'll be anything in here at all. No. Let's see what's at the back here. Just make sure we're not being followed. We've got, oh yeah, so that's open as well. What's in there, was there? That'll do. Gardening hoe. You know what? This would be easy to rebuild. This would be extremely easy to take over. We've got a four dial code as well. The only issue is we don't know the four dial codes for the locks that are already in place. And so we decided to take over this base. It happened to be a plank stash just outside of here. It looks like this place has been empty for a little while. And it's quite an easy fixer upper. We've got a load of nails. We've got a four dial code. And this is on the high ground. This is a perfect start. Very, very little in terms of actual effort that we're going to have to make here. We are going to have to find some sheet metal and fix the damage that's already been caused here, but. This is so easy to fix. Alright, let's get some more planks. Just in case. And it's already got storage in with all those crates as well. We can just put them upstairs. Alright, let's go. Okay, back end is secure. We're just putting a... We're going to put a wall here for the time being. I'm not going to put this into a fence as I haven't got any more than one four dial code available but we can certainly fix this immediately back to the planks yes this is looking good this is looking good here we go i really need to put some sheet metal on this Right, we need some logs. Oh, shit! There's a guy here. Get the gun out. Let's go. Let's go. There he goes. There he goes. He's down. Oh, you didn't like that old son, did you? I'm guessing you're alone. You've got a little bit of gear for us. Tell you what. Let's tape all this. Lob it back in base. Silly boy. Silly boy, creeping up on us. But it doesn't appear as a second here. It looks like a solo. So he must have been behind that rock to the right. Let's quickly, ain't got time to mess about it. Let's quickly take all of his gear, quickly run him back in here. There's a lot of people online right now, so we can't afford to mess about. Dump it, back out, take his weapons. Probably take his trousers as well, actually. I need a new pair of trousers by the looks of it. Right, take a bit of that, take a bit of that. Right, reload our SK. I haven't set the code on the bloody four dial yet either. As long as we've got ammunition here. Can sort this out, there you go. Four dial on. That was swift. We're good. 
We're good. Let's see if this attracts any attention. Eating our dinner overlooking Tara Harbour. Now that we had established our FOB, we decided to start day three, headed down to the Athena Research Institute. There was clear evidence that someone had recently been here, with the distinct possibility that they may still be here. Okay, what we got? Takes a 9x19. Oh, hold on. There's a silenced them lock there. Yo, that'll do. We can now take out Zeds nice and easy. Nothing on him. Bloody Humvee tire in here. Yeah, fill jacket, we don't need that. Always check for mines. No mines, no trip wires. There's an SK on the floor here. Don't quite need that. Another Humvee tire. Okay. Double checking no one's outside watching us. The way some of this stuff is positioned, it looks like some of it has been dumped. But anyway, we're going to close the doors. Take care of our friend here. Good night. Okay, let's head in down to the other barracks. Just before we get to the science lab. We still need night vision as well. Oh, there's a pelt on the floor there. Someone has definitely been here. Maybe more than one. We need to be careful. What's that holster? No, we don't need that. Alright, what's this? What's this? Giddy gun wrap. Another giddy hood. We don't want that. We'll take the gun wrap for the time being. Give us a little bit of camo on our back. Yeah, let someone's use the fire here. We'll take the suppressor. Alright, we've got one more to go, I think. What's that, an M16? Yeah, maybe take the mag. I don't need the M16 right now. I'll stick with the SK. Rapid fire on that. That there, the M16, only gives us a burst. Don't need that. Anyway, let's head on up here. Okay, so... I've seen a couple of aggro Zeds on route here. Look, there's an aggro Z down there in red. That was not us. Oh, there's a noise here as well. That is not a Z. Okay, there's someone here. Someone, someone here. I'm not sure if they're actually in here. Or if they're on the outer skirt of the building here. Let's check downstairs. Careful, does it? Glow stick. If they're going to be hiding anywhere, it's going to be in here around the corner. Yeah, gun just changed. Gun's just changed. It's a little bit too far away from me. I don't think they're in it. No, they're not in here. They're either upstairs or on the outside of this building. Sounds like just one as well. I could be wrong, but it sounds like just one. I'm not sure if they can hear me. Take a claymore. Might have to set a little trap up. There's a couple of places they could be. They could be down this stairwell, but I'm not going down there. That is just suicide. Too many angles for them. Oh, I don't think they're down there, though. I think they're going to be up the top of the stairs. Around the corner here. It's come from the back of this place. I'm not sure if they're upstairs or... Possibly on the gangway above this level. Going across to the other building. Can't hear any movement now. Let's take this slowly. Let's clear floor to floor. Ah, bloody gilly wrap. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Just gets in our way. Okay, so there's the gangway. Nope, nothing there. Right, this here is dangerous as hell. Several angles that we could be shot at here. They may be in the far left corner. What's that on the floor? No, it's, okay, it's a ghillie hood, I think. 
Alright, so they're not up here. No, they're not here. Is that better condition than the one I've got? It's wet. That's pristine as well, we'll take that. Right, let's get a bit of warmth in us. Turn the old stove on. Now, we're holding the high ground here, so even if they can hear this, we have got far better odds. Let's use this time wisely. We're going to push across the gangway here. There's a tent on the floor. Medium tent. The Jaeger trousers. They are. That'll do. Far better insulin than the, uh, the other trousers we had. Combat trousers. Right, just going to head up onto the roof here. There's a weapon. There's a rifle there. Is that Savannah? Is that a Savannah? It's a bloody savannah. Oh, that is much better. Much better than the Tundra. 308, same bullets, but it's a 10 round mag. Oh, we are laughing. And we've got a hunter scope for it as well. I'm going to get rid of the bullets from the Tundra. It gives us another four. With A1 clear and right on the heels of someone else, we headed over to Narinsk. Right, we're here. The water well is just to the left and we desperately need it, but this place is a death trap. Our saving grace right now is the fog and the snowstorm is in. Let's uh, quickly go and take care of business here. It doesn't look like anyone's up there watching us. And if they're camping from across the street there, they're not going to see us. Do I see a base over there? There's a fence over there. Oh, there's a base. Let's go and check this out in a second. Let's have a little look then. There's two. There's one there. Oh, there's a truck. I've just seen three doll and there's barbed wire on the goddamn fence. Oh, hold on. I can hear someone. I can hear someone to the right of us. They're shivering. The other side of the wall I'm at. So they're obviously locked in to their base. Let's take our shoes off. Yep, shivering again. Let's take our shoes off and try and creep around here. You never know, we may catch them. Now that's only a free dull code on the one we're looking at right now. That is easily breakable. We can get in that. Easy. Let's try and get a better look from over here. No, it's pretty much the same. Oh shit, it's a dude! Ah, uh, he had a full auto, man. We stood no chance. And with that, we were back on the coast. Well, after yesterday's little tantrum where I logged out after being killed, we have finally now today made it back to base. Day four. And we're just going to hope that our base is still intact. Okay, cool. It is. It looks all good. Right. Now, we are looking like a complete and utter bag of crap here. Uh, we do need to try and get some weapons. Get warm. And uh, head straight back down to that base. Where we hope to this time be effective. Alright, let's see what we've actually got in these crates now. So we've got an SK still. Picked up a crappy Pioneer en route, but let's grab a load of bullets for the SK. Pretty much got a load of building materials and an M79 at the moment. So we, uh, we've we got some looting around to do. We've got some raiding to do, if possible. But we need to get warm first. Okay, we're good. Let's move out. Hopefully today no one's camping this. Oh, so good. Okay, we've not been shot yet. Makes a change. So we've had to take a little dip in order to get over back to the mainland. Caught a few fish. And we've got just enough to keep us going. Okay, we're back at this base. 
I hope it hasn't been hit by someone else overnight. Just check to make sure there's nothing else going on here. It all looks pretty Q right now. There's no aggro Zeds anywhere. I swear I got killed yesterday. Okay, so it's still the same setup. Barbed wire's there. Free dial code. We've got a Z. Looks like trying to break into that pace itself. Let's clear these Zeds up first. Now, the only thing of any kind of value-ish to us right now is the SK. It's the only decent gun we've got. Everything else doesn't matter. Right, maybe we can have a little look inside here. I got here. Oh, the weather's changed. There's a load of barrels in there, you know. So what we're gonna do? Let's remove this barbed wire. Oh, that animation! Oh, hold on. They've got a goddamn trip wire there. These boys. I reckon they're off line. They've put that there, and they're off line. Right, let's break through this. Hopefully, we're gonna have a little bit of time now. Okay, we're done. What's the code? Ooh, 648, is it? Okay, okay. Please be loaded. What we got? Oh, you're joking. You are joking. I suppose we've got a truck now. I tell you what we should do. Just in case. Let's put this back on. We know the, uh, the code dial now. Just in case they do suddenly spawn in, they're not going to know. That we know that code there. Yeah, that's a fire barrel, but there are loads of barrels inside here. Oh, great. There's bloody wolves. Wolves incoming, and this is going to take ages to crack this four dial. Alright. There's Mr. Wolf down one. We really, really could have done with a suppressor, a bottle suppressor there or something, anything. Made quite a bit of noise here. Do you know what? We're going to risk it all. We're going to keep on going. No one is running around right now. I'll tell you what we could do. Let's put the trip wire down with a nade on it. Let's wait here for a few minutes and just see if anyone comes. Right, we've just been scouting out the rest of this compound, and there's another camo net over here. It's only about 100 metres away from that base, so let's uh, see what the situation here is. There's no movement still. Oh, it's another free dial. I wonder if they've been stupid enough to put the same code on. Let's go straight for the same code. 648. Oh, they have. People are so silly when it comes to these. Why would you do that? Well, there's nothing in here. Right, we do exactly the same again. Let's close this up, put the free dial back on. So it looks like no one has even touched this. So we've got access to two vehicles now. Okay, we've spent about 20 minutes around here lurking around. There's nowhere else. There's no other bases hidden here. It looks like their main setup is behind this wall. Now, we heard a shot on the hillside a little while ago. But there's been nothing for a good 15 minutes. So we're going to log here for a little bit. Take a little break. See if that trip wire gets activated in the meantime. Right, we're back. It's night time. And the trip wire was not activated and we've just spent 30 minutes breaking this lock and we're finally in there's been no sign of these base owners returning we brought the truck from outside of that place just in case so let's take a little look and see what these guys have got in here oh hello they've got two other four dull codes in here why have they not put those on the outside door. Oh, I should imagine that's because they're going to rebuild in here. They're saving those for in here. Alright, come on. Be good to us. Well, oh, there's loads of gear in here. And we do need a new kit set, to be fair. We also better straighten out our uh, our food as well while we're here. 
So let's take care of that a little bit. But let's also not take the piss a little bit here. They could log in at any moment. So, uh, okay, let's get our kit set sorted out. Guy's all damp as well, isn't he? He's all cold. At least this kit set will keep us a little bit warmer now. All right, I'm going to take all the stuff we had originally. Because I think we're going to have a load more room now. We've got night vision as well, that'll do. Take that, 63 grade. Don't need any uh, free dolls. Definitely don't need any of that. New gloves. New hat. Salt helmet, that will do. All right, what else have we got going on here? Is that the same one? Take one of the putties. Is that a sea chest? Oh, okay, okay, now we're talking. We're all worn, but let's take the plate carrier. Cooking pot, four dial. There's another four dial, we definitely need that. Okay. Don't forget that, we need the, uh, the M lock. What else they got here, crates. Oh, look at the ammo. And there's landmines as well. Landmines, nades. Jesus, these boys have been busy. Right, don't need the M16. Take the gun cleaning kit. Probably better off taking it. Oh, I've got a VSD. Hold on a minute. Getting rid of that. That VSD is coming with us. Definitely take that stuff. Right, come on, let's get some ammo. We're going to take all their decent ammo. 308, 76932. Oh, hold on. These boys are saving up to go to the uh, oil rig. Why are you saying that? That one's ruined. That filament is ruined down there. They must... I reckon they've got a suit. I bet these boys are running around with at least one of those suits on. What else have we got going on? Oh, look at all those grenades. Loads of nades. Well, we're not going to have to worry about breaking into anyone else's stuff right now, are we? Take as much as we can. Probably going to have to fill a bag up here. Dump it all in the truck outside. And then uh, fill the truck. Take a couple of uh, claymores. And then drive the truck home, I think. What else have we got going on here? Cut more barrels. Oh my god! They haven't. They've got the suit. They've got the whole suit and the hat. Oh shit. Right, okay, okay. We need to get out of here. Whack all this in quick. You just know it. They're going to load in as we're doing this. Come on, hurry up. Whack all that out. Clean all that up. We've got to take our clothing off as well. Take clothing off. Put the suit on. And then get the hell out of here. Oh, I've cut my foot. So this instantly makes you warm. Look. Instantly makes you warm, that suit. That is crazy. Right. Quickly rag up. We shouldn't really be doing this outside, but... It is the alien suit. I mean, come on. There's the hat. Get in the truck. Oh, we've done it. I think we've done it. You watch them log in right now. Right, come on, get out of here. Let's go, man. We've got a long, long way back all the way around. A long way back. Oh, this truck is so bloody slow. We're going to get killed here. Come on, old boy. Well, we've made it back to base. Now, we've got a few problems. We haven't been shot at so far, and we've had to go all the way up north to cut back round to get onto the island, and that was dodgy as hell. We haven't been shot at by anyone camping our base right now. Can we get away with this? There's so many variables here. We end up getting shot somehow, I'm sure of it. I don't even remember, I don't even know actually, how many shots can this suit take? Right, shut door. Get the fire going. The four dials on. We've made it. We're back at base. We're back at base. Those boys are gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh, shite. But we made it. And it's late. And I need to log. So we logged on the next day and made a load of stashes, including hiding our suit away. We've just got back to base. It's been a couple of hours and we're just about to find out 
that we have indeed been raided. And not only have we been raided, but they've broken in the back door as you're about to see. They've taken the truck full of all of the guns, the grenades, and they've actually changed the four dial code on the front. Well, we've been hit. Got a cooking pot. They've taken the truck. That had a load of stuff in it as well. I wasn't able to stash all that away. God damn it. That's the VSD gone as well, isn't it? Shite. Let's just see what's upstairs. Did they leave anything here? Oh, they've taken... Oh, shit. So they've taken down... The crates. They've actually taken the crates themselves. Dumped all of the planks out. And they've left us with an SK. And a goddamn pioneer. Right, let's just get the gate open. Right, come on. Uh, they've changed the locks. Oh, I don't believe it. They've changed the four dull code lock. Oh well, the base is done now. And so with that, we decided, why not hit every military base going and gain as much supplies in terms of grenades that we possibly can. Because from here out, we're going to search this place high and low for our next target. And what better place to start our search for additional boom than the outpost. Now that is always a long old run. So we're hoping to get in and out of here, clear it, grab some loot and get our ass back to the mainland as quickly as possible. Alright, we don't want to set all these off at the same time. So let's be a little bit uh, sensible here. Creep up on this. Okay, we won't creep up on this dude. Where's your friends? Oh, hold on. I've got a stove. Here we go. Beautiful little setup there. Alright, who's the next? There's loads of them over there. Best off hitting a bit more rags here. I've got a funny feeling we're going to need them in a minute. Anyway, there we go. Six. Right, who wants some? Mm, we don't. Okay, let's try and get behind this lot. They're all looking the other way. That's uh, handy. Right, what type of loot we're going to find it in? Oh, okay. Starting off nicely. BSD mag. Got an AUR. Looking in decent condition. There's some more night vision. Got a night vision scope if you want it. LAR mag. Not a bad first. Little loot spawn there. Oh, they're always crap. So we do. Let's shut this door here. Nice and gently. Let's go with these two. Sit your ass down. Right, come on, come over here. Oh, there's loads of them. We may be able to uh, keep them occupied behind these shipping containers and move straight by them. Dude in there, we don't want none of that. Shut the door. Oh, there's more night vision. There's another night vision scope. We don't actually need that. We're going to take night vision anyway, though. Decent condition. Mags, there's a load of rounds in there. 556, five, that'll do. We might actually get through this without killing all these Zeds, you know. That'll be handy. Another nade. Okay, good. Slowly building that up again. Oh, some explosive grenades there. A times two. Thank you. We take that. Where's the other one? That'll do. Got the M79 badly damaged, but uh, it will do. Right, time to leave. Time to get out of here. Well, that's been quite productive. 
the long old road back now though. And for now, our adventure on this server draws to a close. But make no mistake, our guy is fully loaded and he'll be searching for the next raid. Take care guys, see you next time.